working on this 2015 Jeep JK here with a stored code in the ABS module for the right front ABS wheel speed sensor. It was a circuit code. Um, and I cleared the code and drove it around, did not reset, and everything was reading fine. And before tonight, I didn't know exactly how these uh, how these active ABS wheel speed sensors worked. I didn't really know how to test them, so I was just moving the wires around and waiting for the ABS module to show a change in speed, and I never got to do it. Um, but I wanted to share with you all, because it's hard to find any information on these active ABS wheel speed sensors. I knew how the passive ones worked that generated alternating current voltage. I tested many of those, uh, but before tonight, I did not know about the active ones. And I found out that the ABS module is actually looking at the amperage change um, that's going to that sensor. It's not looking for an alternating current or a DC waveform or anything like that. It's looking at amperage change. So you could use a amp clamp on your uh, wire or you can simply just back probe the voltage feed um, and look at voltage because as amperage goes up of course voltage goes down and we're not talking much change here I've got it hooked up right now uh, it's back probed and of course you you back probe the voltage supply not the signal return the voltage supply so it should be you know we're right up here at um, 13 volts or whatnot but right here you can see I can zoom in here see that nice square waveform it's only changing 390 millivolts and I've got this thing on a 500 millivolt scale and uh, so I had to zoom way up to to see this if you were to just normally hook up your scope you're not gonna uh, see it you got to zoom in really far and that's a nice square waveform that's what we want to see each time that little reluctor wheel passes that sensor the current changes which causes a voltage drop in the system and and you know it's very simple to uh, to see on the scope now that I know how these sensors work and I found that if I take this wire here and push it over you'll see there it goes drops out there I need to zoom out farther here There you go. Now I'm gonna let go of the wire, push it back over. So I thought that was pretty cool because before before tonight I did not know how these things work. Now uh, I will say that I had also tried just simply uh, scoping the signal return because that's what you would think you'd want to scope, right? You know the signal return, and it did have a, a voltage. It was it was barely off ground. It was like around 300 millivolt range, and it had a waveform but it was all sorts of crazy it was mainly just electrical noise it was not a nice clear waveform like you see when you look at the voltage on the voltage supply a nice square waveform